for the take. We slid while you waiting on the weather to change. Then keep a few shots for whoever remains. And when it's my turn, nigga, ain't nobody gonna get him up. Alarm clock, nigga, how we waking the city up? Rolling up Joe, going city from city, stuff in the corners in the hood. Never could really get enough. Losing the cheese, still you niggas ain't big enough. Size don't matter, set some bullets that's big enough. Talking that gun talk with bro. Get your frame chart speaking on my name like mess with the click like Give me everything like a big so I need that Thug shit got grip do it for the block Real real niggas ride little ale to the squad I can't take another loss Fuck a nigga off About to fuck a nigga off Time to ride nigga Fuck a niggas off Slide nigga Fuck a niggas off Fuck a nigga off I can't take another loss Tay way to AK a rich city host Tryna tell you who it is, like I'm knocking at the door I'm that nigga on the stage, we got it rocking on the floor You can pass the chance that you probably won't get again Coming to you straight from the underground Episode 3 of Underground Kings We taking the Underground Railroad And crossing them tracks over to Richmond, California The first Underground King we gonna look at in Richmond, California is the Will Love, Will Respected, Rich City Host, none other than Tayway with the AK. Tayway comes out of that real Richmond, but his hood is that Southside 30 block. And he reps that little ENT, which is a rap group and labeled by the police a street gang. You know what I mean, where you from, man? I mean, what's up? Uh, uh, see, uh, yeah, man. Southside Richmond, 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 man.
You got, you know, love to hate it, but you know, I love the rich though. Rich, rich man made, who, made me who I am today though, for real. Tay Way was a pioneer when it came to this rap shit in the Bay Area. Now I'm not positive on when he started rapping, but he has raps and music dating back all the way to 2010 on YouTube. And it wasn't just music he was doing. He had music videos, vlogs, studio sessions, on stage performances, hood documentaries, and even interviewing people. So man, we really gotta give Tayway and the whole little ENT they credit. Like no niggas in Northern California at that time was vlogging and uploading a daily life in the hood to YouTube. So shout out Tayway and the whole little ENT. Like y'all was a really ahead of y'all time by vlogging, obviously rapping about the shit that was going on and just recording your everyday life. Like I really left an imprint on the city and what was going on in that time. Nikki Buck and Young Dog, I got Mac 40, Doc Chops and Big Rude. These niggas blues, I'm on blues, I'm a sober hype, real Richmond, set tripping, you know what's up. Fatty Addy with Chopper and my nigga Cooch, Dookie, Lil Rob, I only fuck with goons. Smutty, play real, I fuck with Lil Max, Monkey, Mikey be my niggas, fuck with Stacks, it's damn good, a Buddha, free my nigga Zip, Netty Bo, Netty know I'm about to send these cigs. You know what it is, I'm the fucking kid. Tay Way was on his grind for a long time, man, trying to open those doors for him and his crew. Now, with the death of rapper and fellow friend Serdy, Tay Way was the main sole face of Little ZNT. Now, the grind would finally pay off. After years of being on the underground, Tay Way would finally get his big break. Call me like, man, you need a club banger. So he hit me. I'm like, I'm like, man, I do need a club banger. So I'm like, all right, it's all good. So I start writing a club banger. But at the time, everybody's saying, fuck it up at the time. And everybody's saying, oh, my best friend, birthday's coming around. Everybody fired up. They're like, wait, fuck it. You know what I mean? The whole nine. So I'm like, all right, I got to make a song like that. Shorty want to touch. You want to fuck with us. Fuck with us. Lights out. Don't fuck it up. I put your lights out. Don't fuck it up. Fuck it up. Go best friend. That's my best She like, fuck it up. Sis, I'm like, fuck it up. After Tayway, sensational hit, he will go on to drop more projects and music with big artists like Mozzie and E-40. So like I said earlier, man, Tayway was really ahead of his time. Just imagine if he had dropped Fuck It Up with the TikTok. That nigga would have been on top for surely. So like I said, man, Tayway was really a pioneer for this music shit in the Bay Area. With things looking bright for Tayway, and his hit single doing numbers, Tayway would definitely try to capitalize off of it. And I think he did his best, honestly, to capitalize off of it. He definitely came out with some good music, but I think just the Bay Area curse of us not really just getting out of the Bay with our music. And what do I mean by the Bay Area curse? You look at Texas, look at Atlanta, Chicago, all of those cities are blowing up their underground artists are making it out the hood and getting fucking money. It seemed like since the hyphy movement, the Bay Area artists haven't been getting the rightful credit and love. And I think Tayway was definitely an artist that got swept under the rug and overlooked. Uh, where your aspirations leading you, Tayway? Um, where you see yourself at like a year from now? Year from now, mm -hmm. we gonna be on the I'm top. Gonna be on a, nigga. Shit, I'm gonna be right here in the rich. But who am I to say? How niggas be the murder? Ain't no bitch, no fight. The nigga go live just to go get him.
This is an updated news report. Police has arrested a 22-year-old man in connection with the death of a well-known Richmond rapper who was gunned down six months ago after posting an Instagram video that showed his location. Deontay Reed has been arrested and charged with murdering 29-year-old Lamonte Tayway Butcher in a September shooting that authorities has attributed to the Richmond-based Manor Boys gang. The charging records note that Butcher was chased and gunned down minutes after he posted his location on Instagram and the alleged that multiple gang members participated in his killing. Allegedly, Tayway is in his hood at a store that he always goes to and he goes live on Instagram. A person on the opposite side sees that and 10 minutes later, he gets down there and gets busy. He kills Tayway and uh, injures two other people. Now he does get caught for this and this is all allegedly as he's still going through trial and facing his charges. Now this was a big, big loss for Richmond, man, for the whole city of Richmond. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tayway and uh, it was just devastating just to hear the story and to see how it just went down. Um, he didn't get a lot of love, obviously, when he was alive or dead from the industry side. I know he has a lot of family people that love him. So with that being said, long live Tayway for real. And many people outside of Richmond forget while there was a war in Chirac popping off, so was there a war in Richmond. And we lost many Richmond legends on both sides because of the violence. Now this war in Richmond was going on way before Tayway. Now whether Tayway was involved actively or inactive in the war, it comes with stress, depression, anxiety, and fear. And Tayway definitely felt all those emotions as it's only natural as a human being. Now, I feel personally that it was taking a toll on Tayway. With a lot of shit on his mind and being mentally drained, he either forgot he was a hood trophy and there still was a war going on, or he just got comfortable. Either way, it's a shame. And as I mentioned, Tayway paved the way for a lot of niggas, and even niggas like myself, niggas to get on YouTube and expand the horizon and show the world what this bass shit really like, man. And Tayway's song, Fuck It Up, man, really bring back memories when we used to go to house parties, when we really didn't have no worries about the street shit, and we was just really having fun. Cali culture is really built around house parties, so if you missed out on that era, man, I really feel bad for you. Once again, long live Tayway with the AK. This UCK under Crown Kings. We out. Ass of the dime, reach your cash and she gotta leave. Nigga kept his head, but that's that ass when that chopper squeeze. Right or wrong, rip thighs, nigga chop your knees. Free real niggas gotta cock and squeeze. If Brody fall off, I'ma help him bounce back. A nigga still here, man, they can't believe that. With my day one nigga, G, you know where we at. Tell the story. What? No, no, I don't know. You said it. How do I know? You said I'm funny. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's funny. Get the fuck out of here, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! I almost had him.